Today we're talking about why secondary VA claims are easier to win and, in most cases, they pay more money. They like filing secondary claims. Uh, most of the people that watch me and you, 50s, 60s, 70s, been out for a while, um, and it's a big leap explaining why this particular thing here was because of four years I spent in the in the core, you know, from 71 to 75. Secondaries eliminate that problem. Um, what are your thoughts on secondaries and then being creative with them, too? Because sometimes you have to do that, too, right? It's a game. It It is a game. What, what you just mentioned there, and I'm, I'm going to – everybody listen up. He, he made a good point right here, and, and I got to reiterate it. And that is Woo! when you've been in service that, like, that long ago, it's hard – it's hard to go back and show, pinpoint what happened. And that's how the VA nails people all the time. They're like, oh, you had this thing. I don't see in your service records. I don't see in your treatment records. Nobody said anything, but he's statements, but he's right. If you're just saying, okay, I got a back condition. We'll stay with that. And you know what? It's causing this radiculopathy. I got this weird sensation down my fingers. Guess what? That is a secondary condition. And he doesn't have to go all the way back to service. He has to go right now. Just be like, uh, the secondary condition can almost be considered like a way that your primary condition has worsened. And so I, I'm with you. I love those um, for multiple reasons. One, as you said, you don't have to talk about what's in service. We, we leave the service jacket alone and we talk about what's going on now. Two, I find that that's the way to get higher ratings a lot faster. And just let me give you a quick example with the back. Okay, you get a 20% rating for your back. That's actually pretty high. I get vets 40% rating sometimes, and I got to tell you, that is super hard. But let's say we get a 20% rating for the back, but then the vet can't feel his right leg, and he's got pain and tingling in his left leg. Well, then he's getting 20% for each of those, and guess what? You get this thing called the bilateral factor, which gets you a little more, okay? Sometimes we get vets with bats so bad, they have incontinence. You know, they, they, they can't hold in urine or, 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 you know, or, or their bowels. That's a 60% rating. Okay. So you were going boom, boom, boom. Now I got to tell you, if you get a vet in that situation and he does not have depression, I've never seen that. Okay. Cause that's completely altering their life and what they're going through and how things are affecting them. Okay. So that's getting a depression rating, which again, you know, the way they do these stupid ratings, that's an easier rating to get. You're probably getting a 50 or 70% rating for that. So all of a sudden you got this, you know, it's like combat Greg says, you, you got this initial rating, this thing that the VA says, oh yeah, this is related to service. We'll give you this because it's only 20%. We're only paying you $400, $300 a month. And then you add on all these secondary, boom, you're up to 80, 90, hopefully a hundred. So I, I, I hate saying this, but yes, I agree with him. He's right. This is yeah. It's um, I've, I watch it happen on a daily basis. You, you, you've watched it longer. It doesn't make sense. Why can't I just get paid for my back? To your yeah. point, 20% is actually high. They just don't pay for orthopedic conditions, period. Um, I've talked to a few people that have 40% ratings, but usually it's 10. And yeah. yeah, radiculopathy in both legs, 20 and 20. Bilateral factor, another 2.3% just for that alone. And then, um, yeah, incontinence, another 60%. Mental health, 70%. Yeah. You know, and and what you know, and and keep naming them, and you don't need to explain. Yeah, you just leave the service uh, jacket alone. It has nothing to do with it. Yeah, you, you just have to hook them onto something service connected. Right. And if you think about it, this is going to you know something is going to take you out, Matt. Eventually, you're not going to be here. You're going to be off this me? planet. Me? I, I'm sorry, and I'll be <laughs> with you laying in the ground in a different state. Um, so you know. When we die, you know, it's whatever, kidney failure, but what else was causing it? You know, heart failure, right. vein, fa like, I don't know all the doctory things, but, you know, you, it's usually five things. So that's a good way. Right. That's the way I think about secondaries. Something's going to take us out or took a loved one out or whatever the case may be. And they things just happen as you get older and disabilities right. do not get better and improve with age. And you're right. They It's like a confluence. They, they come together and, and hit you. You know, it's not, not, that's not just one thing typically. Let me jump in here real quick and tell you about my boot camp. If you want to learn more about the VA claims process, check out my boot camp. You can talk to me live. There's a link on the website and in the description, combatcraig.com. And also if you need medical evidence like a nexus or documenting your symptoms properly, Go to our website, combatcraig.com, and it says med team slash nexus letters. Click on that link, fill out the form. 
boom, you're done.